In the annals of history, one name reverberates with both eye and fear, Genghis Khan. Behind this legendary title lies the remarkable life of a man whose origins were humble, but whose destiny was that of a conqueror. From the mystery surrounding his true name, to the immense impact of his military campaigns, this narrative unveils the extraordinary tale of Genghis Khan, shedding light on his rise to power, his relentless pursuit of conquest, and the endearing legacy he left behind. Genghis wasn't his real name. Born along the banks of the Anan River around 1162, the man who would ascend to become the revered great Khan of the Mongols was initially known as Temujin, a name that held the meaning of iron or blacksmith. It was not until 1206, during a momentous tribal gathering called a Kuraltai, that he earned the illustrious title Genghis Khan. While Khan denotes a traditional leadership role, the origins and significance of Genghis remain elusive. Some speculate it represents ocean or jest, but within the context, it is often interpreted as supreme ruler or universal ruler. He had a rough childhood. Genghis Khan's early years were fraught with adversity in the harsh realm of the Mongolian steppe. At the tender age of nine, his father fell victim to poisoning by rival Tatars. Subsequently, his own tribe expelled his family, leaving his mother to raise her seven children alone. Genghis grew up navigating the perils of survival, honing his skills as a hunter and forager. In a distressing twist, it is believed that he may have taken the life of his half-brother during a dispute over food. Later in his teenage years, he and his young wife were abducted by rival clans, subjecting him to the brutalities of slavery. Yet, despite these formidable challenges, Genghis Khan's indomitable spirit and unwavering determination propelled him to become a formidable warrior and leader. By his early twenties, he had garnered a loyal following establishing himself as an influential figure. Through forging strategic alliances with prominent tribal leaders, he successfully consolidated the disparate steppe confederations under his banner. With unity achieved, Genghis Khan turned his gaze towards conquests beyond the borders of his homeland. There is no definitive record of what he looked like, remarkably, for a figure of such historical significance. Little is known about the personal life and physical appearance of Genghis Khan. No surviving contemporary portraits or sculptures provide a glimpse into his visage. The scarce information available from historical accounts is often contradictory and unreliable. Descriptions of him frequently depict a tall and robust figure, adorned with a flowing mane of hair and a long, bushy beard. However, a surprising account by the 14th-century Persian chronicler Rashid al-Din asserts that Genghis possessed red hair and green eyes. Yet, skepticism surrounds this claim as al-Din never encountered the Khan in person. Nevertheless, such distinctive features were not unheard of among the ethnically diverse Mongol population. Some of his most trusted generals were former enemies. Genghis Khan possessed an extraordinary ability to recognize talent, and he embraced a meritocratic approach to leadership. Rather than being swayed by social class, ancestry, or past allegiances, he appointed his officers based on their skills and experience. A notable example of his belief in meritocracy emerged during a decisive battle in 1201 against a rival Tejit tribe. Genghis found himself on the brink of death after his horse was struck down by an arrow when he interrogated the Teja prisoners to identify the archer responsible. One soldier fearlessly admitted to being the shooter. Moved by the warrior's audacity, Genghis not only spared his life but also granted him a position as an officer in his army. From that moment, the soldier became known as Jeeb, meaning arrow in honor of their fateful encounter on the battlefield. Alongside renowned General Subutai, Jeeb would later rise to become one of the Mongols' greatest field commanders, leading them to triumph in their conquests across Asia and Europe. He rarely left a score unsettled, while Genghis Khan offered other kingdoms the opportunity to submit peacefully the Mongol rule. He exhibited no hesitation in wielding his sword against those who resisted. 
One of his most notorious campaigns of vengeance unfolded in 1219, after the Shah of the Khwarezmid Empire violated a treaty with the Mongols. Genghis had proposed a valuable trade agreement along the Silk Road, but when his emissaries were mercilessly slain, the Khan's fury knew no bounds. He unleashed the full might of his Mongol hordes upon the Khwarezmid territories in Persia leading to a war that claimed the lives of millions and left the Shah's empire in ruins. Unsatisfied with this retribution, Genghis continued eastward, turning his attention to the Tangits of Shiji, a group of Mongol subjects who had defied his command to provide troops for the Khwarezmid invasion. After defeating the Tangit forces and sacking their capital, the Great Khan ordered the execution of the entire Tangit royal family as punishment for their defiance. Genghis Khan's life and legacy continue to captivate historians and enthusiasts alike. From his humble beginnings to his conquests and tolerant governance, he left an indelible mark on history.